Julia Wilkinson is a Canadian former professional swimmer who swam in major international championships. At the 2008 Olympic trials, she broke the Canadian national record in the women's 100-meter backstroke. She then broke the same record again at the final swimming meet before the Olympics. In the summer of 2009, Julia represented Canada at the World Championships. In 2010, Julia qualified and competed in several events at the Commonwealth Games, where she successfully earned two bronze medals. Julia finished off her professional swimming career by representing Canada in the 2012 Summer Olympics. I think growing up here, I, I, I think I always had a bit of a chip on my shoulder um, and I felt like I had something to prove. Not just to people outside of the town, but I think I wanted to prove myself to people in Stratford too. Like I was really important to me from the time I was a kid. I was really competitive and I, I was working really hard and I, I swimming wasn't really like a big popular sport in Stratford. I didn't, I had my sister, we swam together. We had a, a small team, but it's not like a lot of other people at my high school swam. And I really wanted people to like take swimming seriously. So I felt like maybe if I, <laughs> maybe if I went to the Olympics, people would take swimming seriously. I think they do now. So it's <laughs> on the flip side, going to meets and racing against girls from Etobicoke or Toronto or Vancouver, or all those cities with big pools and, and expensive coaches and all these equipments and training camps that they'd go on like I wanted to prove that I could be just as good as them even though I didn't necessarily have that um, so I it drove me for sure. In 2008 at Olympic trials it was my second trials I'd swum in 2004 as a 17 year old coming out of high school so I'd been through it once before but it was my first time going into it actually with a realistic chance of making the team which is a little bit intimidating because there's this whole new level of pressure but at the same time it was really exciting and I swam a lot of different events at that time so my coach in university he didn't really want to put all the eggs in one basket so he put me in so many events um, and we kind of just talked about it and he said well we'll just see what happens like we don't know like what's gonna happen if you don't make it on the first day, you've got other events like coming up in the rest of the week. And so it'll, it'll just give us as many chances as possible. And then I ended up qualifying in every event that I swam, so it was, <laughs> which was awesome, but a little bit overwhelming. I don't think, I think that he thought that I could swim that well, but I don't even think I thought I could swim that well. And there's like probably my favorite picture ever from my swimming career is after the 200 freestyle. So I'd already made the team in the 100 back and the next night I swam the 200 free and I was in so much disbelief with how fast I went. I like am in total shock. So I have like my hand over my mouth and I'm just like, I look so excited because clearly I didn't even think I was gonna swim that fast. So there's nothing better than that. Like, of course you don't wanna go to a meet, think you're gonna do great and then totally bomb. Like I've been on that side too and that's that's awful. So to, to walk in and, and hope you're gonna make it in one event and then turn around and find out that you're swimming, you, you have the opportunity to represent your country at eight different events of the Olympic Games is amazing. I, I mean, the bad side is everyone was like, oh, you're like the Canadian Michael Phelps, which I was totally not because I did not come home with any gold medals, but it was definitely cool to have that many events and that many opportunities. Most people go to the Olympics and it's one and done. You get to go and stand on the blocks once and I got to do it a whole bunch of times. So I feel very lucky that I had that opportunity. I'm really proud to be from Stratford. And I think that I learn that more and more the older I get. Like um, recently Stratford was like named the number 12 city in Canada to live in. And I was so pumped. I like went to work and told everybody. Like I am a very proud Straffordite. It's a huge honor to be put into the wall of fame um, in the city of Stratford. But I'm just really grateful because I feel like this was a great place to grow up. And I'm glad that I was able to kind of like make my mark on it, so I'm very honored. <laughs>